Hey everyone, Perry and Riley here. We have your non-spoiler review of Jigsaw coming your way right now. So, with the story in this one, it's pretty much what you would expect. There is a component of the movie that is about people surviving traps. Then there is a component that is a mystery component where you have the police trying to figure out who done it considering Jigsaw has already died in the film franchise. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't love the story. I did not really connect to any of those people that were in the traps and trying to survive. I had a very hard time rooting for them. And then, per usual with me, with the Saw franchise, the police element of it has never really appealed to me. And I think the fact that the acting wasn't that great in this didn't help either. You've said everything I needed to say, Perry. <laughs> I, I would have... I'll give the story a little bit of credit. They did try to do something to subvert our expectations. Go see it if you want to know what that means. But for me, I'm not a big Saw guy, so I saw things coming a mile away. I wasn't very surprised. I wasn't very interested. Yeah, the story was just okay. Yeah, I was really looking forward to seeing the Sparrow Brothers, of all people, direct this movie and seeing some of their flavor because they've done great things in the past. If you haven't seen Daybreakers or Predestination, you should check those out. This movie really had no style at all. The color palette's very similar to previous Saw movies, and immediately when you hear that theme song, you do feel like you're in a Saw film, but there was nothing that special or stylish about it, and really overall, the tone, and even when you're talking about suspense, everything felt very flat to me. Yeah, I, I feel like the, the Spring Brothers just kind of got in there and they were kind of forced to go into the Saw universe and create what we've seen before. So I, I wouldn't give them uh, particularly high marks for this. In fact, I didn't really feel directing was a part of this. It was just kind of one note and I was just going along with it and just kind of nodding along going, okay, here we go, something I'll keep saying over and over again. Looks like a Saw movie. Mm -hmm. You can take it or leave it for what I'm saying because I haven't been a big fan of the Saw movies and this is another uh, reason why. Yeah, it is a little paint by numbers. I think there's something to be said for some of the traps, but in general with these traps, it does feel like similar traps that we've seen before. Also, part of the problem with the traps is that as you know from previous Saw films, the suspense of the trap needs to be deeply tied to the person going through it and why they're going through it. And the fact that that character element was not there and was not as strong as I needed it to be made the actual trap itself nothing more than than cringeworthy. And really with the Saw franchise, that, that is one of the elements of it. That's something that they've embraced all along, so this movie needed to do that. You really do need to put those traps front and center mm -hmm. if you're gonna try to reinvigorate the Saw franchise for a new audience to get 10 more movies in the franchise if they want to keep releasing them on Halloween, this is not the way to do it. Yeah, I would have to agree with that. And just in terms of this movie fitting into the franchise overall, they take some interesting risks and I give them credit for trying those things. I don't think they were laid out properly though because it is a little difficult in the end to piece together everything and really understand. And there's, there's a, you could call it a twist of sorts and it just didn't mean that much to me, which is a big disappointment. Well, yeah. Yeah, the big twist that you're talking about, I had to get clarification from a better Saw expert going, okay, what the hell did I just watch? I get what they were trying to do. I will say that they swung for the fences on it. I think it was admirable to try and do this and tell this story, but it was muddled. It was very confusing mm -hmm. for me. I didn't understand what was going on, and it's a Saw movie. That shouldn't happen. Yeah, all right, for score, I think I'm gonna give Saw a 3.5 out of 10. I'm giving them a little credit for some of the story risks they took. For that reaction that some of those traps did get out of me, I gotta give them some credit for that as well, but really, this is a disappointing new installment of the franchise. I was hoping it would reinvigorate everything and we'd be back to getting Saw movies every year. I wanted them to be of a certain quality. This one was not that. Well, for you Saw lovers out there, you and you've seen me on Nightmares, you know I'm not a big fan of this franchise. I thought the first movie was incredible. It's the one movie that I always go back to and say, well, that redefined the genre. After three, I was done. I didn't, after part two, I was like, eh, I'm bored. Same here. It's, it, does, it is a Saw movie. It fits in the franchise. I get what they were trying to do, but it didn't land with me at all. I'm giving it a two. This is not a good movie for me. I was wanting it to be over. All righty, that's our review of Jigsaw. If you see the movie this weekend, hit the comments below and give us your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe, comment, like, share this video, all that good stuff, and we will see you soon with more movie reviews.